All right, guys, and welcome back to more Bravely Default. And we just got done kicking Quada's ass last time. We whooped his ass really good. We used Bravely second. I used it because I didn't want to. I did not feel like going through whatever he was gonna do. He he probably would have braved like three times, instant death, instant death, and healed himself or some bullshit. So that's why I didn't want to take any chances. I mean, it. I possibly could have went faster than him, but I I didn't. I didn't want to take the chance, so I just set, bravely second. I was hoping that uh, T Dog would get like maybe, maybe a critical hit, but he didn't. So I, I just went ahead and used uh, some SP basically. But anyway, we are back and we are about to talk to Eagle. Eagle. I thought we killed him. What the hell is going on? I thought we killed his ass. That was close. I made the right call drinking that concoction to fake my death. It seems the Vestal was convinced of my demise. <laughs> the world is indeed full of fools. <laughs> now, it is time I left this wretched place. So you flee again, do you? Uh oh! <laughs> but of course! I do what I must to survive, by any means necessary. As long as I survive, I am confident my fortunes will be reversed. <laughs> Uh-oh, something's about to happen. After all, who but I can create weapons with the power to kill tens of thousands in one fell blow? I think he's about to get bodied by the Swordmaster. <laughs> Uh oh, you hear that? And once I am ready, I will obliterate you all! The sword bearers, and shield bearers, the vestal, and even the black blades! Uh oh. And, and then, the world shall be. Oh! Mine? Body! The world of the living. God damn it, why do we have to hear, keep hearing Gara in every game we played? We just heard this man as Caius. <laughs> we just heard him as Caius, dude. Now we gotta hear him as his sword master. Jeez, and we just played Persona. Damn, he's in every game we play. Alright, so here we go. So we have to warp all the way to town. So if it takes too long, guys, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much speed up the trip there. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. He, that was a spooky episode of Naruto when he just kept saying Sasuke's name. But here we are. That was a risky move, but we made it back all right. Here, here. It's not like Tiz to go out on a limb like that. But we survived, and that's what counts. Ba -da 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 -da. The Vestal. Mm. He must be exhausted. He's sound asleep. You did well to carry him on your back all this way, Tiz. You must be tired too. No, that is wrong. I'm Bryce. I never get tired, and I'm always right. I'm fine. Told you. More importantly, this boy may know of a way into the Temple of Fire. We should ask now. Don't you agree, Anya? I do, if that is true. D -d 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 loves his music. First, let's head to Commander Goodman's residence and give the boy a chance to rest. The music is too goddamn hype. It really is. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna rest here. We might activate another cutscene with T Dog. Guess not. Alright, so what we'll do here, since we rested up, is just immediately go ahead and start up the next quest. But since we're here, we should probably save, just to be on the safe side. My phone is ringing. Hey, go. Whoa, You're cat, alive. my bad. Alright, everybody, give me a second here. I need to answer the phone. So without further ado, let's continue. Do you know this boy? His parents were part of our household guard. 
They lost their lives three years ago protecting my husband. We hadn't heard from Aegle since then. To think that he had been forced to work in the Mithril Mine. Wow. Mrs. Goodman, could we ask you to look after Aegle here for a while? We can't take him with us where we're going. Yes, of course. <clears throat> He's awake! Where am I? I... I... I have to to hurry. Oh no, he's brainwashed. He's gonna kill his mother. Hurry, where? The fire vestal asked me to help. I have to go. Where is this? Where am I? Wait, Eagle. He sounds like Inari from Naruto. Boy, where the hell you run off to, boy? Get your ass back here. Huh? Hey, Playboy, you gonna catch the bell if you don't get back here, Playboy. 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 Eagle. Thank you for rescuing me, but I have to go back to the Mithril Mine. We've recaptured the mine from the sword bearers. You don't have to work there anymore. All your friends have been freed. I still have to go back. Go back where? Does this hmm. have something to do with the fire vessel, Echo? That's right. Did you meet her? No, I've never met her before, but I sometimes see her in my dreams. I really do. Really? She always seems sad and tells me, go to the deepest tunnel. Lead the wind there. Wow, go to the deepest tunnel, lead the wind there. Lead the wind vestal there? Uh, the wind? The wind vestal! That's you, Anyez! The deepest tunnel? Does it lead somewhere? Yes. Who are you? She is the wind vestal. What? That means... This tunnel may lead into the Temple of Fire. Even in death, it seems the Fire Vestal is trying to fulfill her duty through Eggle's dreams. Eggles! I must see this done. I must. Let go my Eggles! Eggle, show me the way to this tunnel. Got it! Leave it to me! That Wait. is Inari. Eggles in no state to go anywhere. Hey! Why do you object, Tiz? Because it's dangerous. Aye aye, T Dog. Tis. How is Eagle? He's asleep at last. Idea is with him now. Agnes and Eri are in a huff. We couldn't let Eagle take them into the mine. It's too dangerous. Hmm. Indeed. You know, ever since we found Eagle, you've stopped having your nightmares, Tis. Huh? Really? I haven't noticed. How does he even know that? How do you know this? How do you know this, man? Ring a bell? Ring a bell? How do you freaking know this, bro? I'll leave Eagle in your capable hands. Understood. Be careful out there. Where is Eagle now? He's holed up in his room. He won't let anyone in. We can't take him with us. Even so. No matter. I questioned him thoroughly about the location of this passageway. Let's set out then. Alright. About to body. Whoa! I'm almost walked into the lava! I almost walked into the lava! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Walked into the lava. Walked into the lava. Alright, here we go. So what we're going to do is walk to where we need to go unless a side mission shows up and it didn't. Good thing because I didn't. I did not honestly feel like doing side missions. <laughs> Let's progress with the story, shall we? Uh oh, cutscene. Cutscene. Ah! What? He broke out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Eagle? Uh, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh. 
Zapping you with magic. Zapping what magic? Zap them all with magic. And then guess what? Brave? This should do it. This should honestly do it. Alright, and supercharge. I hope this kills them. Oh, mm, good day. Good day. Good day. Damn. Ring a bell. He put in work. Ring a bell putting out work. Oh, it's too late for that now. <laughs> I told you not to follow us. Are you listening to me, Ego? But I'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through. And you didn't tell us this before? What? You have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through. You'd never be able to fit. Not in a million years. We got Airy the Fairy, though. You said nothing about this back at the house. You tricked us. I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing. Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. Right? I told you, Eric the Fairy and these loud-ass Negroes. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that. Nope, I didn't. Well, we'll have to take Eggle with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. Hmm. We can't do that. What if he gets hurt? No need to yell at Anya, Tiz. What are you so upset about? I... What do you propose then, Tiz? Will you make him go back by himself? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? Edu was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage he found. But... I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifice. These phone calls, though. I don't give a f who's, who's from Akron, Ohio? Never! What are you saying? Ain't Mary? nobody. I don't want anyone to be sacrificed. I won't allow it. I'm Bryce, but anyway, who does anyone even live in Akron, Ohio? No, I don't even know what that is. Sounds like it's in Ohio. So let's get going. What then? You have been impossible lately, Tiz. You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late fire vessel, and me. Goddamn right, I'm T-Doll. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this. Do not interfere with my mission! Hey, both of you need to calm down. You ain't about that life. Reminds me of my little brother who died. Till. What? When that chasm opened up, and Norende was swallowed by darkness. My little brother, about the same age as Egil, he fell along with it, right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anyas cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. Even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then, why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And I promised Agnes that I'd stay at her side. To be there. To protect her. Tiz? Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Egil. Tiz will protect him. 
right? <sighs> Please, let me go! I want to see the Fire Vestal's wishes carried out! You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Eagle? Got it! Thanks! Uh. Uh. Huh? What? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's move on. Hmm, indeed. Party chat! Airy versus Eagle. Eagle, I'm- Hey, Eagle, I'm talking to you, hello! Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Quit nagging me already. Nag, nah, and this, after you lied to me, you- You- You pipsqueak! I'm telling you, I never lied! You did ask, so I didn't mention it. That's all. <laughs> oh, I don't need to take that kind of back talk from you. And I'm a lot bigger than you. You're the real pipsqueak. Ooh, shots fired. You son of a bitch. Nothing. I didn't say a word. Honestly, what kind of attitude is that? And to a Christ fairy, no less. Anyas, are you hearing this? Eagles is being horrid. Anyas, please. Please, Anyas. Every he is a child. Please do not be so immature. Right? <laughs> you heard it, Amy. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> a day I ring about this, somebody say something. Oh, uh, yeah. Hang in there, I guess. Dot, 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 dot. Be careful, okay? I will. I know this place like the back of my... <gasps> What? <laughs> a big piece of mithril ore! Really? This isn't the time for that, Eagle. You've got to stay with me, okay? Oh, come on! Finding this can mean the difference between eating or not, you know. It's a precious find! <sighs> Let it go, Eagle. The war will be over soon. Then you won't have to worry about finding mithril anymore. Wow! Now that I look at it more closely, I think this is Orikalcum. Amazing! Orikalcum? When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Damn, we get eggs! Damn, this dude is conditioned to just be looking for it, or he's conditioned into despair. He's conditioned for his despair. Search and despair. Haha. -ha. Get it? Search and despair? You see what I did? You know, I, whatever. Eagle's words. Whoa, whoa! Are you alright? Yeah, just stumbled a bit. My eyes haven't really adjusted. All the more reason to be careful when you're adjust when you step. You know, when you think about it, the moon's way better than the sun. What makes you say that? The moon shines when it's dark out so we can see it at night. The sun only shines during the day when it's bright anyway. Ah, it's bright during the day because of the sun, silly. And did you know that the moon only shines because of the sun's light? Whoa, really? The moon only shines because of the sun? Wow, that makes me... I want to... I want to write a song now! Yes, this makes me think of how the moon gives the sun to the sun... No, wait, wait, wait. I got a better lyric. It makes me think of how... Wait. It reminds me of this one song I heard. I watch how the moon... Wait, wait, I completely forgot the song. I know what I'm trying to say, but I forgot the lyrics, so I ruined my own damn joke. Because whenever the sun is tired, the moon fills in for it while it rests. Wait, wait, I forgot the lyrics. I forgot the lyrics to this song. I know what it is. Yup, I, I forgot the lyrics. I ain't even gonna lie, I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot the lyrics to this song. All right, we made it all the way to the center. We're here. This is the place. There's a stone lever at the back of this narrow hole. Just a second. He wasn't kidding. 
Only Ego or Eri could fit down there. I can barely hear the voices. Okay, here I go. I can't hear the voices, guy. It opened. See, I told you so. Whoa, I felt a blast of hot air. The temple Whoa. of fire must be down here. Let us hurry. No, lava. I hate lava levels, dude. One wrong step and you're dead, bro. All right, so we got to talk to the adventurers. Just try to be careful. That's all I ask because you don't want to get burned alive. I've always been scared of lava ever since I was a kid. And we, and we played the damn lava game, man. You know how dangerous lava is? You can't touch the carpet, bro. Way to go! The Temple of Fire is that way. Great! Way to go, Eagle! <laughs> I only know because the Fire Vestal told me. It's nothing special. I bet you're glad you brought me, though, right? No one cares, Canary Boy. Yes, yes. Let's get going. I'm glad. I bet you're glad you brought me. Oh man! Don't step in the lava. Oh my god, it's the lava! The lava is very, very hot. Don't touch the lava. The lava is hot. The hot lava. The hot lava. The lava is hot. Don't touch the lava. Whoa, look at this. Cutscene. Are you getting tired, Eagle? Yeah, it's hot down here. No, you don't say. Let's take a little break then. That okay with you, Agnes? Oh, okay. Hey, Eagle. What will you do when the war ends? Hmm, I don't know. Isn't there anything you're passionate about? I'd like to go to military academy. Then I want to be a guardsman for the shield bearers. <laughs> Yo, he wants to go to the military academy, huh? My mother and father died noble deaths protecting the top shield bearers. I'm not going to make that obvious reference that I want to make right now because it's so obvious. The soldiers of the shield bearers served to protect the fire vestal. I want to shield people like my mother and father did. Oh, that's a very noble deed of you, sir. Is that so? But I guess I need to find a place to live before that. I have no home to go back to now. After my mother and father died, my grandfather took me in. He was really kind. But he got sick and died soon. Ninja, after. get away from the keyboard. I had nowhere to go. And oh, then I yeah, ran get into bodied. some sword bearers who were rounding up orphans. They took me to the mithril mine. I see. You've done well to survive on your own. <laughs> I guess I have. All right. So what we want to go ahead and do now, really quick, is walk right back up here. We already got a lot of the chest on here. Um, if I skipped it, I skipped like a lot of this dungeon for you guys on YouTube probably. And the only chest that we found anything worth mentioning is probably like the money we found. And the safety ring we just got. The safety dance. You can dance if you want to. You can leave that death behind. <laughs> you can nullify death. Get away and dance. Alright, so what we want to do now, since we got all the chests here, I do believe we got all the chests, we can now walk upstairs, it's probably going to be a save point, and once we get to the save point, probably going to save the game and take a, or call it a day, not call it a day, but take a break. Whoa, 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 lava, 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 oh my god, we could have burned alive, we could have burned alive. I'm so scared, very, very scared of burning alive. Ooh, exposure. Another cutscene, guys. 
Eagle! Are you thirsty, Eagle? We should rest a bit. Yeah. I have to keep my promise to the Fire Vestal. I don't want to run out of steam before then. You hold the Fire Vestal dear, don't you, Eagle? Your faith in crystallism is strong for such a young boy. It's nothing like that, just following what she told me. Well, my mother and father were followers. I'm not sure what I believe in yet. The teachings of crystallism are a bit over my head. I don't really know what to make of them. Then why do you brave such perils? Because I made the Fire Vestal a promise. That's all. She always looked so sad in my dreams. <laughs> I just want to see her smile for a change. Oh. Hmm. I love you, you love me, we're a great big family. Fire your best though. Oh no! Man, this place is coming apart, man. It was a bad choice, man. I ha if I ever have to choose between going to an underwater arc or going across a down lava place, oh my goodness, all the places are just falling apart. But if I had the choice to either go to an underwater level or a lava level, I'd probably go underwater. Even though it's scary underwater too, I hate underwater, dude. I always hated underwater levels and lava levels. Fucking hate lava levels. I hate. I always hated it ever since freaking um. Mystical ninjas, <laughs> mystical ninja down. Um, like the first quest had you go to a volcano to pick up a pipe. I hate it. Lava levels. If you fall in the lava, you die, man. You die. Never to return. Looks like we're going downstairs over there. Apparently I got a new vast update, but I'm not going to answer that. Not yet. So well, what I'm going to do right here, guys, is we made it to the bottom of this area, the underflow. I'm going to take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Bravely Default. So I'll see you guys next time.